Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Is it possible for anyone to tell the future? Anyone? Can it be done? This and other subjects about the future are what the series will be about this month. I'll give you four channelings that talk about things of the past, the future, the present, and that whole issue of time. What it could mean, is it possible? Is time really something that exists? Can you move forward into it and tell what's going to happen? Can anybody give you that? So the subject of this first channel is exactly from that question. Is it possible to tell the future? I have given information for so long about the free will of humanity about the, the linear aspect of time that says that anything can be changed at any time through the consciousness of humanity. That if, hum if, if humans have total and complete free choice on what they do, and whether they go to the light or don't, or, or if they awaken or don't, if, if, if cultures change, if that's the case, how could anyone go to any place they call a vision and come back with what's going to happen. Because humans can change it. They can change it tomorrow. That's a puzzle. So again, we ask, is it possible for anyone truly to give you the future? The answer may be complex, but I also want to make it clear. If you go back in time, <laughs> there it is again, you'll find that shamans of old often told those around them about what might happen. And then it did. There have been those in your cultures and your societies that might have done the same thing. Some of them accurately, and some of them not, and some of them what you might call hit and miss. Were they simply lucky, or is there an avenue that someone might take that actually might give them good answers about the future? Let me ask you this. If you go to visit the Hopi Indian Rock, and you see scratched into the surface lightly a complete description of what is happening right now, how do they do that? It would, it would really seem that this ancient rock was them giving a future way far away from anything they even knew about that is happening right this moment. If you talk to some of the other indigenous cultures about their cosmology, they will describe the shift we are in. Now, how did that happen? How are they then giving the future? Because they did. And the funny thing, the peculiar thing, is this, that so many of them gave the same story. And they never even met each other. This would seem that there are those who can tell the future. How does that work? In order to explain this better, I would like to bring it into modern day. There is a gentleman who didn't start out to be metaphysical, but became that way because of the visions he had. His last name was Scallion. And the gentleman had powerful visions that were given to him about the future. And when he had the visions, they were so real to him that he came back and told his followers or anyone who wanted to, to know what he had seen. 
So profound was it that he, he gave a map of the future that was popular for some time. But it wasn't a pretty map at all. It showed much of the United States underwater. Something was going to happen, either natural or not, that would create earthquakes, would create turmoil. There were many who believed him, moved away from the West Coast, and that it didn't happen. You see, he assigned dates to it. This first happened in the late 80s, into the early 90s. And when the dates did not produce that which he had seen, he would go out again supposedly to, to generate another vision, although I think they came pretty naturally to him. And he saw it a little, a little differently, but, but it was still going to happen in a certain way. So vividly was he, was he seeing this, he came back and, and even altered his map. He gave a date and it didn't happen. He became wise in this and he realized something. Was I seeing the future or was I seeing a future? There is a difference. What if what you've heard about time is true? That in a multidimensional state, you are always in the past, the present, and the future. And if that's the case, and time is giving to you in a, in a very linear form when it's actually a multidimensional thing, it kind of messes up the thoughts you have about everything, about the past, the future, the present. Can you get into the now and tell the future because of it? And that may be the secret. What if there were many futures? Because of this possibility, maybe there were many timelines, but you're only on one. So here is the question again. Can you tell the future that is coming for you? And the answer is, at some level, yes. And I'm going to show you how. I'll tell you how. It is all wrapped up in what is happening now. Based upon what is happening now, what might happen next? And how does it relate to the visions of the indigenous? That will give you a far grander, greater idea of what's happening on this planet than anything else. There are many who will continue to go out and have visions and come back with catastrophe and horror. And you can look at it and go, well, that's, that's the future you saw because you're on some timeline of your own. That's not necessarily the future being developed from what's happening right now. So again, I give you the metaphor so you will understand how somebody could possibly tell the future, including the indigenous. And here's how it works. Consciousness is energy. And if you imagine the consciousness and the attitude of this consciousness, the attributes of it, is it dark consciousness? Is it light consciousness? What is it? Imagine it starting to develop into a huge ball, like, for instance, a snowball. And it starts to, to roll slowly down the hill of a snow-covered bank on its way in time Perhaps it's not going to get where it's going for a generation, but it begins. And as it goes down, how do you see it? Does it collect more of its own energy? For instance, the energy of enlightenment, kindness, compassion is the snowball that I told you about in 1989. That's the snowball. The book was called The End Times because The End Times was the collection of that snowball. That snowball would bring you to a place where there would be no World War III. And I told you that in 1989. I published it in 1993. There would be no Armageddon. There would be no World War III. And you didn't get it at the appointed time in the year 2000, did you? The snowball rolls down the hill, becomes bigger, and pretty soon you can look in front of it because of the elements of gravity, and you can see where it's going. 
this snowball is going to roll down this hill and it's going to dispense the energy when it lands wherever it lands. And you can't stop it. Is that telling the future? If you saw a real snowball rolling down the hill, would everybody be amazed if you said it's going to go over there? <laughs> and the answer is nobody would be amazed. <laughs> they would say, yeah, we can see it too. Well, I invite you all to see this future that you can also tell. This snowball is rolling right into your future. It's going to change that which is the outcomes of the wars that you see now. It's going to change whether there's ever going to be another one. It's going to change how people think about what they're seeing now and what they might do with their leadership to prevent it from happening again all over the world, not just in one or two places. Dear ones, yes, the future can be told. Your future can be told when it's so obvious where it's going. That is the information I gave you 34 years ago. I told you that the shift was coming. And the shift would bring a difference in the planet's thinking about what they wanted. It doesn't mean everybody gets religious. It doesn't mean everybody gets enlightenment. It means that there is a, is a far sweeping, more powerful energy of compassion and kindness to one another and an idea of what you want to do while you're on the planet. Trade with each other, not war with each other. Clean up the planet so you're not destroying it. That is actually something that is in progress. Have inventions given to you that will stop pollution. That is in progress. All of these things in the snowball of the future that you know about. That's the answer. Yes. I'm going to talk more about time. I'm going to talk more about the future in the future channels to come. The future channels. <laughs> Do you see why I'm in love with humanity? Can you see this? I am. And for good reason. And so it is. Hi everyone, the short cry and channeling you just enjoyed is from our weekly 90 minute healing program called Healing Wednesdays. Interested? I invite you to find out more at cryingmasters.com slash hw.